I grew up in a household with my mom, sister, brother, and grandmother. Since my mother was a single parent, she always had three jobs so she could support all of us. Unfortunately, that left little to no time for us kids. We'd always ask our grandmother, when is mom coming home? The answer would always be the same, whenever she's finished with work. As I got older, I started to get very impatient with this response. I just wanted my mom to be at one of my softball games or go to my award ceremony. I didn't care why she wasn't there. I wanted her there. One day in fifth grade, I was searching in the library for a book to read. I came across the boxcar children and I immediately grabbed it because the cover reminded me of my brothers and sisters. The boxcar children is about four siblings, Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny, who have become orphaned and fear living with their grandfather, so they decide to live on their own. Henry, the eldest, still young but the eldest, works for a doctor doing housework and yard work so that he can earn one dollar every day that he works. This allows him to buy food for the, him and his brother and his sisters. The children, they have to sleep on haystacks or on benches before finding the boxcar to live in. They have to make their own food in order to eat. They go to the dump for dishes and silverware. They don't go to school. And at the end, Violet, the youngest girl, gets sick and they can't go to the hospital. I remember reading this book thinking, I don't have to work for my food. I just come home and it's ready. I don't have to sleep outside because I have my very own bed. And if I get sick, my mom will just take me to the doctor. Once I finished the book, I realized how lucky I am to have a mom that works so hard to take care of all of us. The boxcar children taught me the value of true appreciation for what I have and showed me things could be worse. Since then, I have been very thankful for my mom and for my family, thanks to the boxcar children.